Hey boys, welcome back to some more Glenn Maxwell career mode, game two of the Ashes series. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, if you watched the last episode, we, uh, well, I don't know, the rest of the, the rest of the recording got lost somehow, and we didn't get to see the, uh, pretty much the whole second innings, which is a shame, but we did, we did end up winning that game fairly comfortably. Um, we had a pretty, pretty decent performance, I mean, we picked up... What we get? Six? Was it five or five or six wickets? Only only a thirty odd with the bat, I think. But um, yeah, that's the that's a good thing about being a being an all rounder in this team. That if we can't if we can't do it with uh, with either bat or ball, hopefully we can pick it up in the uh, the counter aspect. But uh, we're gonna have another bowl here. I I didn't actually see. I'm assuming we lost the toss. Otherwise, you would expect to to have a uh, have a bad, but obviously this is the day night test match. It's cool that um, I mean obviously they they got the Ashes test match proper with um with the real life, but uh, it's still it's still cool. The second test here is the day night game, so we are uh, we're having a bowl early again and uh, a good uh as I just bumped the mic. <laughs> I do that all the time, but uh, pretty good bowling to start with. Um, going for a few runs. I mean we're not keeping it too tidy, but. Uh, Good stuff is that one. We go up. I thought <laughs> I was sure he hit this, and he definitely did. But the the keeper, Tim Payne, has uh, has put it down. It's a it was a tough one. I mean, he's he sort of hit it, not quite at the middle, but then <laughs> the next ball after being dropped, Stoneman has just flicked it off his pads. 101 meters, over 100 meters six. That that is a uh, that is an amazing shot, honestly. And uh, Stoneman and Root forming a, uh, a decent partnership here as uh, that one is so close we go up big time the umpire does not give this out and honestly I had to challenge it like I don't think I've ever challenged one and got it overturned but honestly like this was just it looked dead it looked plumb live so we had to we had to challenge it as you see pitches on middle but it just grips a bit too much Oh, unfortunate. We just needed that one to just just not spin as much because he was so late on the shot. And look at that. Pitching on middle, it spins enough. It's going to be missing off stump. We don't even look at the uh, the uh, the pitch mark or pitch map, I guess. So, yeah, unfortunate. It was a good delivery. And, uh, you know, bowling to a stone man. We've had him in a little bit of strife. But as you see, into our six over. Again, not keeping it too tidy, but... um. Causing some problems to the batters, you know. Once again, getting some good, get some good spin off these pitches. Um, obviously, Lyons probably doing a similar job, but uh, fantastic ball that one. And uh, keeper's done a good job to, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> try the stumping, I guess. But I thought he thought he might have got a little edge on that one, but not to be. As just continuing, continuing the pressure. As you see, a few more wickets. Well, actually, we got the. Uh, we got the two informed batters, Root and uh, Stoneman. So, Besto and Milan are the new batters to the crease. And that's sort of just what's happened. The first game, and uh, now with this game, just continuously picking up wickets. And there we go. That is our first a, uh, a sensational catch by... It's actually not It's not Tim Payne. It's uh, it's Bancroft, at, uh, who's keeping. Uh, was Tim Payne actually in the team? I'll have to... I don't know. I think he was, but um, <laughs> it's a good catch. He was probably, he was probably going straight to um Steve Smith at slip there. But yeah, Tim Payne is in the team. Um, yeah, I don't know why he's not keeping. Uh, you know, Bancroft is a is a keeper, but Tim Payne is is better. As uh, we always pick up Oban in the first ball, I was sort of, <laughs> I I didn't really mean to appeal, but he chipped it up. I can't believe it didn't carry to the uh to the fielder. So. Yeah, just picking up these wickets. That one is, just, well, not straight to him. It's actually a beautiful catch on the, uh, out there, like, deep cover. Mitchell Stark, he's, uh, he's a good, good athlete. You know, you wouldn't expect him to be that, uh, that's, uh, not, that nimble, I guess, for a big, big tall fella. But he gets down low here. <laughs> the one-handed grab, too. But that's, uh, that was a good catch. He, he made good ground to get to it and good stuff. So, two for 37 now into our 13th over and like I like I was trying to say a couple of times just keep picking up 
wickets, you know, we're not bundling them out for, for nothing, but we're just, we're just getting, we're getting wickets as we need them. As soon as the partnership takes place, we're just able to, to break that partnership and, yeah, just, uh, just, just keep putting the pressure on them to come out here. There's the, uh, there's the average. We're definitely going to look to improve that. Obviously, Maxwell's got a, he's got a couple of chances in real life, but, uh, we're going to look to cement his spot in the, uh, in the team here. So that is a, that's a good ball to get first up there. Just a nice, juicy full toss outside off by Anderson. He has picked up four for 51. He's, he's going for a few runs, but he's got the four wickets. Um, and we're, we're in a little bit of, a little bit of strife to, uh, you know, to, I guess, not even get a lead in this game, but obviously Steve Smith is killing it once again, 39 of 41. So the run rate is definitely not an issue as that is a glorious looking pull shot just swiveling off the back foot and it's going to race away for four runs so uh, a good uh good over it was a wicket fallen in it but uh beautiful stuff as we come out here uh new morning and uh, good stuff so obviously i i didn't even realize but yeah we had to bat under lights there so that's probably a good reason why anderson picked up some some wickets early on and we get a good opportunity to come out fresh day and uh, put on a big partnership hopefully with uh steve smith of the crease so yeah pretty good pretty good timing for ourselves really it is only in the uh 19th over so plenty of time to bat um we just have to you know only trail by 100 100 odd runs they got uh you know a bit over 200 so definitely it, it's probably not it's not ideal i guess but it's probably not the worst first innings for for the day night test match you probably you wouldn't be happy with it, I guess, but depending on the uh, the way your bowlers bowl, it could it could potentially be a decent first innings uh, total for England. But that's a that's a good shot using uh, using all the skills with this one. Just uh, you know, it was the right ball to do it to. I was actually you know I usually set up for the sweep shots, but then if it goes a little wide, I can just start uh, open up and and do the reverse. So that's a it's a good shot by by Maxwell as that is a another good shot just punching it into that uh, mid on gap or you know in between mid wicket and mid on and gonna look to look to go for a four but we're gonna hold off for uh for three there as uh another good shot getting to the pitch of that one Moeen Alley just over pitching slightly and using our feet nicely get to it on the full punch it through that gap once again and uh, we're looking good. 22 now. Has a, again pulling out the reverse sweep. They do have a man at like a sort of like a deep, deep gully, deep, deep point, deep backward point, I guess. And uh, we just hit it well enough to beat the field. He didn't have too long to uh, to travel, but a good shot. So Steve Smith, 56. He is going quickly as well. So this is good batting. That is a fantastic shot. Chris Wokes, he uh, cranked it up there, 146. Definitely not showing that sort of pace in real life at the moment, but cranking it up on the game here. And that's the 50-run partnership. But, um, yeah, Sean Wide, no one back at, like, point third man. Good opportunity just to free the arms and just smack it. So <laughs> a nice six to uh, to push us on to 33 here. Bit of, uh, a bit of one-day batting coming out right there. Is that's a, that's a good shot. Just uh, pushing it into the gap for a single as uh, Ellie continues here and just over pitching. We're just going to stand and deliver. The uh, the you know the mid on is he's really tight in there, looking to uh, I guess a bit of a catcher for an uppish drive and you know over pitch delivery. We can just again just go over the top. It's a, it's a pretty safe shot, especially getting it getting a foolish ball like that. It's not going to be able to spin past the bat. So. Good, uh, good stuff. Is that's a good sweep shot? It was good fielding though as well, and uh, we do sneak the single. So, 39 now, approaching a uh, another 50. Obviously, back into the team. We haven't actually got a 50 yet, so it'd be nice to it'd be nice to get a 50, get the 50, potentially go on, get a big score, get a big lead in this game. As uh, again, that that on drive is is working a treat. They always say it's the uh, the hardest shot to play. And uh, we're looking in good touch, looking in very good touch. Steve Smith is approaching 100. That's a, it's a pretty neat looking shot there. Just running it off the uh, the face of the blade. Straight to the man. It was only a single, but uh, a pretty nice shot for only the one run. As uh, 46 can bring the 50 up with a uh, 
with a boundary. <laughs> that's exactly what we're gonna do. Just once again, that shot. It's been uh, it's been very fruitful for us this innings. And once again, I think it's Stuart Broad this time. Just over pitching on uh, on the stumps this time and just working it through. That's uh that vacant area. Well, it's not really. It's just a. It's just a good quality shot. Just piercing the fielders there. As uh, this time, just working it, trying to work it through that gap, but the fielder does cut it off there. As uh, we always sneak out of our crease there, a little risky, but uh, we do get back. So we only trail by 60 runs now. Still only the four wickets down. So this is this is turning into quite the uh, quite the long and dangerous partnership for England. This is definitely. This is definitely the game right here. If we can push on to make a big a big lead, it's going to be hard for England to really regroup in this game. But if they can get a couple of wickets, clean up the tail, then it's still it's still anyone's game as uh, Moeen Ali is copping the treatment like he does in real life a bit here. Just uh, once again, just slightly over-pitched. And as soon as I see it up in the uh, up in the slot, just going through with this shot, so we move on to 58. Steve Smith is uh, he's keeping good pace as well. 70 of 78. This is uh this is clinical batting. Is that one a little bit of strange shot? It's I don't know if it was off the inside edge or if I think I try to play it like through mid on like sometimes like, that's the one thing the game sometimes is a little funny where if the ball is like outside off but you play like a ball on the leg side it'll do a offside shot but it'll actually play it. It'll hit the ball through the leg side still, and it always looks very strange, but you time it, like, ideally, and it's, like, <laughs> it's just very strange. I I don't know. It's the one little thing in the game that is a bit weird. Um, but uh, this time, again, Stuart Broad, pretty close to the field, actually. <laughs> the man was, uh, he wasn't on the rope or anything, but he, he must have been pretty, like, right on the, the ring, I guess, and we sort of got under it, so I thought the man... He was getting pretty close to it, but we moved on to 70. We're catching Smith pretty rapidly as this one. <laughs> oh, I was surprised with the, the four before through uh, mid-wicket, but that one definitely didn't mean to play it over, over mid-on. We've gone for a similar shot over over backward point, over cover maybe, but uh, we've hit it too straight. But thankfully, we've got enough bat on it to, uh, to get another boundary. So, <laughs> you know, a few things coming off for us here. As uh, we have overtaken Smith, he's you know still going pretty quickly or very quickly, in fact. That we're just uh, we're playing some glorious shots. That one is a more traditional, just square drive. Anderson, once again, similar to our first ball we faced, actually, just the full toss outside off, using uh, using the pace, just going through with the shot. Is that's a nice little delicate touch. It's a uh, again, it's a little risky. There are there are two slips in play, so. A little bit finer, and we uh we could have potentially got out to that, but uh, move into the 80s now is again short and wide. James Anderson, this is not this is not the line or the length he should be bowling, especially on this pitch. You got to get it on that old stump line, and you know just uh, bread and butter for us out here, just punching it through that that point region. Again, he's gone short. He's gone wide, but we've hit it straight up in the air. No appeal. I had to look at this on replay because I thought this was just out. And uh, I'm trying to get a good angle here. But as you see, it's it's off. I mean, it's hit the glove. Like, that's it's part of the glove. And I'm pretty sure, like, that's out. That's, that should be out. It's part of the glove. Anything part of the glove is part of the bat. And, yeah, they didn't appeal. They, they must have thought it came off sort of the wrist area. I mean, it was the wrist area, but uh, it should have been out, <laughs> so we survive. And then look at that for a pull shot. That is, that is sensational batting, just uh, rocking back. Anderson, he's going for this short stuff. I don't think it's a good, uh, good tactic, but we just pull it perfectly. So 93 now, approaching our 100 in, uh, in the Ashes. Our first Ashes 100 is looming. Smith, 78. Just pretty much guaranteed for 100 at this point. But unfortunately, we're going to get out to a short leg side delivery. So the short stuff has paid dividends. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I was actually considering challenging just for the sake of it. But I had to look on replay because I, I didn't really feel anything or, or see it. But you're going to see here, you can't really see like a deviation. But it definitely does hit the bat. It's close. It's 
pretty good bounce here actually by by Anderson. It's gone whizzing past our head. That is, it's perfectly uh, perfectly bold in fact. So unfortunately, 93 out. Smith of course gets 100. And that's going to do it for this episode. We'll come back for the second innings in the next part. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.